Hello there guys, girls, gamers, everyone, it's me, Genuine Part. Let me preface this video with something short. Um, there was, uh, I, I read some uh, Let's Player subreddits and there was a, a subreddit where people asked, do you think Let's Players have um, a responsibility to their viewers? Um, as in, you know, we make uh, a game look like fun. Let me say, if you think Bionic Heart 1 or 2 are in any way, shape or form fun, I'm terrible sorry. I'm also sorry to Winter Wolves, but you know, guys, you balls those game up. Those, uh, they are not fun. They are just hilarious because they're so broken and so awkward that... Uh, so let's start it off. Uh, oh, so in a phrase, a word starts with a couple of letters. If you don't remember, uh, we were being teached about how a password can look. And, you know, that's uh, normal for a master programmer and nanotech engineer that they don't know what passwords look like. Then the corresponding in the letter would be capitalized. Let's see. 18. Still wrong and... Uh oh. Mm hmm. Now it says warning. Two attempts left. <gasps> oh, the do the suspense. The suspense is killing me. Do you think you will do it? I mean, not that we can influence it by any way. It's not like we can guess the password ourselves. Ah, <sighs> I'm. The, the suspense. Ouch. That's not good. If you run out of attempts, access to these files will probably be locked. If it doesn't trigger an alarm, and I don't want that. Yeah, sure, you have typed in everything correctly, no mistakes, no mistakes. And you also capitalized the first letter? Of course I did, I capitalized both, the first S and the I, and none of the other words are. No, wait, maybe, maybe? I'll try... Fuck. What? In the first printed version of the poem, the word summer was also capitalized, so I tried with the separate capitalized S, but it still didn't try, didn't work. First printed version? Yeah, the first folio didn't le learn anything in school. Well, you didn't learn how the passwords work, so you want to talk, Luke Black. Hey, I was consistently one of the best in my class. Just not exactly in English. Anyway, I only have one attempt left now. Last ideas? Yeah, probably don't enter it if you're afraid it triggers an alarm, you... Ah. And really, we covered numbers and letters, we covered capital letters too, and there can't be any special characters in an old English poem. Shakespeare didn't use old English. 17th century, Tom. Yeah, yeah, okay, what I meant to say, there's probably no dollar signs or asterisks in the original poem. Wait, what was the line again? Sheesh, can't you memorize eight words? Shall I compare tea to a summer's day? That's a question, isn't it? Sure. Does it have a question mark in the end in its original ver version from the first folio? A question mark? You're right, it does. Then try that. Put a question mark at the end of the phrase before the 18. That's exactly 11 characters. So it's quickly for the 18. Hopefully not. Here goes nothing. It worked, Tom. It worked. Oh my god. <sighs> Can we just uh, appreciate that... Zero, zero, one second before the timer runs out, he entered it correctly and stopped the bomb or whatever. Woohoo, the Tomster strikes again. There yeah, are these files, Lucas Walker's files. Thanks, Tom, I'm in your debt. Never mind, just treat me to a beer or something. You mean once you're out of my fret and can just grab everything you want out of my fridge again, eh? Ha ha ha, very funny. See you soon, buddy. Yeah, see you soon, Luke. Bye. Bye. And I disconnect and I'm smiling to myself. Alright, that's that. Now let's see what secrets Lucas Walkers has told in there. And we switch over to Tanya because, you know, we need some rest from the suspense. Okay, this must be the place. Quite a dump, but I guess that's what you have to expect in those circles. The guys I contacted about the hacker were the same I got the fake IDs from. They said Fast Jack was the best. That's good. I need the best. You're the best. Around. Never, never gonna put you down. You're the best. Now, if only that guy would show up. I'm already seven minutes late and he isn't here either. 
Well, probably he was on time and he left when you were seven minutes late because, you know, that's probably not a very uh, public person. Oh, there he is. What? Are you a girl or a boy? I don't mean any offense, Fast Jack. Looks like you really came without company, lady. And I, I don't... I cannot imagine what his voice sounds like. Looks like you came without company, lady. You look like 12? Script kitty. Well, he's right behind me. You say that right... You say that... Out there. Do you realize that? You're standing in public, no one else is around, and you say, Whoa, he's right behind me! Help! Don't look so startled, lady. You wanted to meet me. How did you sneak up on me? I just checked your eyes and ears and deleted myself from the input in real time. You're made up of more subatronics than any other person I've met. You checked my eyes and ears? Lady, if it's anything electronic, I can jack it. I can jack... That sounds like something out of... Straight out of the 80s. Your eyes and ears, so why shouldn't I be able to get into them? You actually established a connection to my eyes and ears within seven minutes. Well, if I stand in front of you and talk to you, I establish a connection to your eyes and ears, too. That's why they call me Fast Jack. Now, wait a minute. You are Fast Jack? The same. You can't be older than 16, I would say 13. What? No, 12. Uh, 15, actually. And you also have a real name? Yeah, and why should... <sighs> well, I guess you cannot um, expect from a kid that, you know, he's a bit private. When he's the master hacker he is... Um, yeah, so he's Jason Masters, but that won't help you trace me down. I've covered my tracks quite well. This boy looks so confident. He must really believe in his own. I, I don't want to break out into song right now. Impressive. I wouldn't have thought that the legendary hacker my contacts described would be anything like you. Your contacts have never met me offline. I don't mix with small-time crooks like them. You, however, are a different matter. I am? Sure, you are. Your description is all over the police networks, and then I find out your body is really something to look at. Hey! You're a little too... too young for that, young... boy? I guess? Aren't you a little young? Mm. Okay, you read my thoughts. Nah, not like that. Lots parts of your body are artificial. That makes you quite an interesting sight, lady. Call me Tanya. Not your real name, I suppose. It is my only name. I don't have any spiffy, spiffy pseudonyms like Fast Jack. I didn't choose that one, Tanya. The others gave it to me, but it's stuck, I guess. Okay, you can check electronics, whatever that means. It means hijack, of course. Jeez, you're a little slow, aren't you? Yeah, I don't have the fastest processor in the world. I could show you how fast I can be if I want, but I need you. Anyway, you're good enough of a hacker to break into the police network that much I know of you. Yep. The question is, how good are you really? Uh, you want to know? Definitely. There's no system on Earth I can't break into. <sighs> My god, you and... Uh, Luke should, you know... Make, um, a group or something? I have to ask myself, who's now the, uh, the orders, um, what's it called? Uh, um, uh, Mary Jane, I guess? Who, who's now the orders impersonation in this game? Is it Luke now? The, the, the programmer slash um, nanotech engineer that can learn everything within a couple of minutes and assemble a completely uh, robotic woman? Or is it the 15-year-old that can hack into any system? Given the way this is written, I would, my bet is on the 15-year-old. Not one? Absolutely none. Not even those with the highest level of security. Okay. Okay. 
If he says there's no one, I've guessed he included those with the highest level of security. Man, do you realize? I I now know why this game has no more uh, voice acting. Not because the first voice acting was so shitty, but because there was no person on earth that would put this dialogue to to digital files because that would be a permanent stain on your record. What you made that you you talked about this story. You you absolutely acted that out. Holy crap! I don't want you acting out my stuff. I also love. I, I never noticed it before. But the rain are just two images. Look at it. Big, 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 big. It flickers. It flickers between two images. That's great. Tanya, I was able to crack your so-called highest level of security when I was nine. All systems on Earth work on algorithms I can calculate. Wow. Wow. You you're the best around. Nothing ever slows you down. Even calling that security is a joke. Well, it's good enough for 90% of the popula uh, population. Except you, I guess. Are there, every <laughs> Are there any levels of security you can't overcome? I bet the answer is no. Well, there are more advanced quantum locks that would be quite troublesome for me, but I doubt they will be developed within the next five years. Eh? What I'm saying is that the technology that could stop me doesn't exist. Then how do you know it's going to be developed? Are you from the future or something like that? Something like that, yes. The boy's grinning happily at me. Obviously he enjoys teasing me quite a bit. I mean, with that face and that expression in your face. And is it just me or does the shading look really off? It looks like her face is completely... Completely flat, except for the nose, and I guess the lips. Well, in that case, let's get to Abaya Ask to meet you. Whoa, 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 Tanya, not so fast, eh? First of all, what's in for me? What will you pay me? What are your usual rates? Jason raises an eyebrow. Bro? Bro, eyebrow! Man, eyebrow! Do you think I'd ask for money? Oh, he wants, um, probably sex. I don't know. Tanya, if I need more money, I just tank a bank and transfer some money into my account. I don't need money. Then what else do you need? Love. Love. All you need is love. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. All you need is love. Love. Love is all he's need. Favors, didn't your contacts tell you that? Well, I may have not asked them the right questions. I asked them if they knew a good hacker and then their name Fast Check came up. And let me tell you how this works, Tanya. My business is back, back scratching. I thought it's hacking. But you can scratch my back. Back scratching? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You do me a favor, I do you a favor, and it better not be a favor money can buy if you get my meaning. I see. So what do you have to offer? Yes, that's the question, isn't it? What do I have to offer to this boy? What do I have to offer to him? What am I willing to do? Offer to kill someone for Jason. Offer Jason some private time. <laughs> I knew it. I just knew it. Tell Jason he won't break his neck. Well, I am a person of high morals. I I would offer him to not break his neck. Um, but then again, uh, if he's so good of a hacker, he probably can disable you altogether, so that's not a good idea. <sighs> he could probably do that by himself to hack in a police network, tell someone is armed and dangerous and on a lamb, and they would off him anyway. Um, private time. I guess he can't hack that. Well, what do you say to a little private time with me? Private time? Yeah, just you and me, all alone, in a nice little apartment, we'll close the curtains and we'll sit down together. Jason's face reddens a little. Um, I don't know, then I'll take my clothes off. <clears throat> and then you can inspect all the cybertronic parts of my body as much as you like. Oh, oh, you mean I can get a closer look at your technology? Sure, I promise you, you'll be surprised at how advanced it is. Jason sure seems relieved about that. <clears throat> yeah. 
I accept that as a payment. See, I knew it. Good. So what is it you need from me? Do you know Nanotech? The technology of the, or the corporation? The corporation. Jason sneers. Do I know them? Who doesn't? They're the biggest corp in Britain. They are very influential, very rich, steals a lot of their ideas from others, and sometimes even makes people, people disappear. I need information on them. Go watch the news, they're everywhere. I need the sort of information that's not in the news. Ah, now it's starting to make sense. You're after their secrets. Exactly. So, is it industrial? So, it's industrial sp espionage you need from me? No. That seems to confuse Jason a little. Oh, then what secrets? I want the dirt. I want all the crimes Meyer and his cronies have committed since they took over the company from his father. Heck, I want his father's crimes too. And I don't want to know them. I want them published. I want them on the six o'clock news of every channel if possible. That sounds as though you have serious grudge against those people. Pe pe beetle? Beetles? <laughs> Peoples. You're damn right about that. And there's also serious problems with the plan. What problems? I thought you could check any piece of technology. Why not the communication satellites? That won't be the problem. The problem is that sort of information you're looking for probably don't, won't exist. At least on, on any service I can access. I thought you could break into any system. I can break into any systems if I have some way to access it. Any sort of that b business stuff needs to be exchanged between Nanotechs and its subsidiaries, so the servers they're on must be connected to the web, which means I can access them. But the kind of muck you're looking for won't be on any of those servers if it does exist and definitely in a self-contained environment, not an Nanotech intranet probably. Is that a problem? Oh yes it is. To get to the Nanotech intranet I need to get into the Nanotech facility itself, and it mean I mean physically get into it, I need to access one of the terminals they have inside. Hmm, I was planning to go there anyway, so what if I take it there? What, you? Yes, I've been there already. You mean you would actually break into Nanotech and you'd take me with you? If it's necessary for you to get that information I need? Yes. Jason's looking at me with wide eyes. Lady, you have a serious problem. Call me Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, you have a serious problem. I know, that's why I need you. Jason doesn't look good. He's definitely thinking hard now. Or are you afraid you're not up to the challenge? Me? Afraid? That seems to have shaken off his doubt. I'm not afraid of anything. So you're coming with me? Yes, yes, I'm coming. I will need to prepare for it, So, but so will you, I suppose. None attack. Funny. Funny? That you would ask me to hack into Nanotech of all places. It's a strange coincidence that... What? Nothing, just a coincidence. Alright then, let's get prepared. And... I... I'm not sure. Let me, let me just, uh, take, take, uh, take a look. So yeah, we have reached the recording length and the most I am willing to go through this game. Uh, I'm sorry. I thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video. Uh, uh, don't hold the stretching back um, at me because I'm tired. Bye!